It's been a little while since I've made a video. I decided to take a quick break. Well, not quick, it was a two-month long break. In the beginning of the year, um, after I released uh, the, the short film, I just kind of wanted to take a break and work on some other projects, but I am back. And today I thought I'd show you guys how I edit audio inside of Final Cut Pro. Now, the things I'm gonna teach you today are definitely transferable across all editors, so you should be able to take the things you learned in this video and apply them to whatever video editor you use. Now, I highly suggest when you edit audio, you get a pair of good headphones to edit audio with. You Using just your earbuds or the speakers of your computer usually is not a very good idea because it's not going to be an accurate representation of how your audio recording sounds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. All right, I pulled up Final Cut Pro here and I've imported some footage that I shot for this tutorial. The microphone I'm using is this little video micro and I record that into an external recorder. But don't worry, the techniques I showed in this video will apply to any microphone. Now, since I'm recording audio separately, I have to go ahead and sync up my audio and video. So you can actually do that in Final Cut Pro by selecting both your audio and video, right clicking and choose synchronize clips. Hit enter and it will actually analyze the waveforms of both your camera's audio and the um, audio recorder separately and give you a synchronized clip which has synced up and muted the uh, video layer. Now I've already selected the section that I want to edit today, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that down as a separate clip. And let's go ahead and listen to what the audio sounds like directly out of the microphone. Today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better using just a few simple tools inside of Final Cut. So it sounds all right. The microphone is pretty close to me, so that's obviously going to increase the quality. A good rule of thumb is to always make sure your microphone is as close to the source as possible to get the best quality. The first thing you should do before editing any audio is make sure your levels are set correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my meters inside of Final Cut Pro by Command Shift 8. Today I'm going to show play you how through to make here, your audio sound a whole You can lot. see my audio levels are just hitting negative 12. And that's actually really good for when you're recording vocals just to have them just tickling that negative 12 decibel level, but it's not good for final export. So what I'm going to actually do is go ahead and go up here and raise the volume of that to where the very tips of those waveforms are just hitting the yellow region. So now it's really hovering around negative two decibels, which is a good place for dialogue to be sitting. Next, I'm going to add an effect called a compressor, which will basically help even out the volume of my entire track. If you go into your effects browser in Final Cut Pro and search for compressor, you will see that under logic, there is a compressor effect that you can drag directly onto your clip. And if you go over to the audio section of the inspector, you can see all of the parameters for the compressor plugin. Now basically what a compressor does is it takes quieter sounds and raises their audio level to be more on par with the louder sounds of your footage. This will give you a more even sounding audio track as far as volume goes. Now if I zoom in on the audio waveform here, you can see when I turn off the compressor, the whole track gets a little bit louder. And if we go into the parameters and adjust the compressor threshold and bring that lower down, you can see more of the track gets raised up. That I usually leave to about negative 20. And if you want to adjust how much the audio gets raised, you can change this ratio slider. So if we bring that up, you can see everything gets louder. I usually leave everything here at the default settings. Next, I'm going to add channel EQ or equalizer and click this little settings icon next to the name and the effects. It will open up a new window, which will allow us to change all the settings of our equalizer. Now, you may have seen something like this before, but just in case you haven't, an equalizer will allow us to adjust the volume of different frequencies on our audio recording. First, you should go ahead and enable analyzer on the bottom left here and go ahead and play through your track so you can see what frequencies are in the track. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better using just a few just so we can adjust this just by choosing one of these little knobs and pushing it up or down. So if we wanted to increase the audio of this frequency or bring it down, we could do that. So this is pretty useful for processing audio, but how do you actually go about making your audio sound better with this tool? Well, there's basically two steps. First, take out any frequencies you don't like and second, boost the frequencies that sound good. Now to find frequencies in a microphone that don't sound good, what I usually do is just pick a point on the EQ and bring that gain up and then sweep the frequency range as the audio plays. And then when I get to a frequency that I dislike, I can go ahead and remove it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my range down just a little bit. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better using just a few simple tools inside of Final Cut. Okay, so I found a frequency around 350, 360 that I think sounds really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that frequency down. Now it's important that you don't pull it way too far down, otherwise the audio is going to sound really processed and you're also going to lose a lot of the qualities of your source. So it's best just to bring down this just a couple decibels. Here I'll do it around uh, 6 or 7. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep repeating this process, finding the frequencies that I don't like. All right, so now that I've removed a couple bad frequencies, I'm going to go ahead and try to look for some good frequencies I can boost with basically the same method. 
Although it's a general rule that when you boost frequencies, you want to have a wider range than when you remove frequencies. Today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better using just a few simple tools inside of Final Cut. Alright, so I think I want to boost a little bit on the low range here, around 200 hertz. The idea with EQing is that you're just pulling away frequencies that aren't good and letting the good frequencies ring through. So ideally, you wouldn't really need to boost any frequencies, but with this particular microphone, I do find that boosting the bass helps me get a little bit of a fuller sound, especially on dialogue. Now I think as a final adjustment, I want to add a little bit more clarity to the track, so I'm going to boost my really high end frequency frequencies here just a little bit to help give it a brighter, clearer sound. And that's about all I would do to this particular track. So let's go ahead and hear what our track sounds like before all adjustments and then after. So this is before. Today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better. And this is with the effects. Today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better. But I think that sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> but of course, you don't have to go through this whole process every single time you make a video. So that is where presets come in. To save a preset in Final Cut Pro, you just click this little Save Effects Preset button on the right, and then you can name it. Now, whenever you import your audio, you can go ahead and just go to that preset, drag in your clip, and all of your settings will be applied. I have tons of presets saved for different microphones and different recording situations, so it's a really great way to save a lot of time in editing. Well, I hope this tutorial was informative and helpful to you. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video. Also, let me know if you have any tips or techniques of your own for editing audio. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.